Artlist reached out to me and asked if I would do a video about Motion Array, and at first I said no. Because when I originally looked at the platform, I couldn't figure out how to use it. So there's this section called templates, and I only use DaVinci Resolve, so I looked at the DaVinci Resolve templates, and they were really complicated to use. I couldn't really figure it out, and they ran kind of slow, and you had to do a whole bunch of stuff to get just a simple title on the screen. But then, browsed around their site just a little bit, and I went to presets, and then I found DaVinci Resolve macros. And those were simple enough to install into DaVinci Resolve and easy enough for me to use. Now, I don't edit a lot. I'm not a great editor, but I do know how to make my own videos, and I want to use things that will make the process easy, simple, uh, maybe look a little bit better. Like, the only reason I would recommend a service is if it's something that I could use. And some of the macros that I found on Motion Array are awesome. I mean, that's what I've been using for all the transitions in this video so far. And so in this video, I'm going to show you some of the macros that I've found on Motion Array, how to get those installed and how to use them. If you'd like to get started with Motion Array, of course, there's a link to them in the description of this video. This video is sponsored by Artlist, who owns Motion Array. So thank you, Artlist, for that. So we'll start by going to the Motion Array website, and if we just go to Presets, DaVinci Resolve Macros, you'll see all of the magic that I have used with DaVinci Resolve so far. I'm gonna go ahead and sort by newest, and we're gonna look for a new one and implement it and give it a shot. So I, I like this uh, creator who has, uh, they made this the freeze frame one that I was using. And it looks like they made a new one animated freeze frame. So I'll go ahead and try and use this one. So they'll give you a little example of what the, uh, you know, macro will do with this little preview video. I think this looks pretty neat. We're going to give it a shot. So when you open it up, usually there's a little bit of instructions on how to use it. Library application support, DaVinci, uh, black magic design, DaVinci resolve, fusion templates, edit transitions, paste. And there we go. Let's open up DaVinci Resolve. It should be under Video Transitions, Animated Freeze Frame. There we are. Let's give this a shot. So I just have some clips of my doggy here. Copy this. Here's my dog. And we'll just add this clip here. How to use. All right, so I watched their little tutorial and I should be able to do this pretty easily now. So we'll go to animated freeze frame, just drag it on there, make it however long you want it to be. And we go into mode here and we should click edit M1. Edit masks, edit M1, there we go. Now you should be able to just draw your mask with the fusion overlay. Edit M1. There we go, we'll just draw a little mask over her. Now I'll go to edit M2. I've been trying to use this uh, stylus with this little Wacom tablet. I've been trying to get better with it. Uh, you can go, if you're using one of these, into, here it is, uh, draw append to where if you're really good with one of these things, you can just hold it down and draw the mask. And if you're really good, it's just, it makes things way faster. But uh, once you let go, if you try and then continue to do it, you have to like click on the last one to keep going and it's really kind of annoying. Anyways, uh, close it, shift O. And we'll go to edit M3. Oh, Draw a pen there. I can draw. Nope. Oh. See if you undo it, we got that whole line that I gotta fix. But I'm just I'm gonna keep going. Done. So now we see what that looks like. Now let's change the text controls. Uh, text controls. Um, obviously I don't want to use the default there. I'm just gonna put my dog's name. Kona, uh, maybe up. Yeah. Let's go up here. Let's make it bright orange. I don't know. I think that looks good. Let's give it a shot.
And so there's one more set of titles that I tried to use real quick. And here's what I came up with. Uh, what I had to do was do a quick export after I put this into my timeline and configured it to get it to render smoothly so I could actually see what was happening. Because uh, some of the templates, they just run too slow on my computer. And I have an M1 Max MacBook Pro with 32 gigs of RAM. So it's not a weak machine, but it still struggles with some of the macros. So maybe uh, other systems run a lot faster. Maybe the new M2, maybe I should look at the new M2 Max. Um, but sometimes if I'm just really struggling to see what the actual title will look like, I render it out first and then just view the quick little video. So now I realize the motion array has tools that I would actually use and be able to recommend. So for that reason, if you like what you saw in this video, there's a link to where you can sign up for motion array in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.